let your body know that you're on a island in the middle of the desert, in the middle of the wilderness. You are suddenly at an oasis where there's plenty of food. So your metabolism only operates in terms of survival and death. What does it take to survive? And then eventually uh, there's death. Hi, this is John and welcome back to Mr. America Heart. I appreciate you stopping by. Today I'm talking to you about the difference between a refeed meal and a cheat meal. So look, here's the thing when we get started on a diet plan or on a good eating plan. Generally, we don't like to use the word diet too often. It gets people all ugh, in the head, okay? So look, when we do this, you have to make a decision from the very beginning. You have to be honest with yourself, first of all, if you're handling your own eating plan. If you're handling your own eating plan, you need to say, hey look, do I need to have a little bit of a cheat type of a meal for more for my head than for my body? Because that's really all it's for. It's more for your head. It's not so much for your body. When we talk about having a cheat meal, we're talking about going and getting a little bit sloppy. So you've been dieting, you've been eating correctly all week long on your meal plan. You've stuck to it. You've done the best work that you can do. You've done all of your workouts and your cardio during the week on a good fat loss cycle. Now you hit the point where you say, hmm, I'm just craving X. What are you craving? And it's not just a simple craving for just an hour or a short period of time, half a day, but literally it's all the time you start having those cravings. If you're in that situation and you're that type of an individual that you need to have a little bit of a psychological break each week, or every two weeks when you're on a good, good eating plan and you're making a great attempt to drop body fat, then the fact of the matter is, is that you can go right ahead, you can get away with a solid 60 minutes of cheating. I said that, 60 minutes from beginning to end, from once the food is served or once you've made the food and you're about to dig in, take 60 minutes from beginning to end and go off. Have as much as you want, have whatever you want and it will stimulate your metabolism. It'll definitely clog up the digestive system a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it won't feel too good as you'll probably be stuffed out of your mind uh, long before the hour is up. And then on top of it all, you'll, your body will definitely feel a little bit better for having had most likely more carbohydrates, more sodium than you're used to at that point and some good fats, so you'll be very, very satiated, you're satisfied, your hunger will be gone after you eat a meal like that. And then, this is the purpose that is now served. You can look at it in a positive way. Your metabolism will be spiked for the afternoon or for the evening, it'll rev up, it'll let your body know that you're on a island in the middle of the desert, in the middle of the wilderness, you are suddenly at an oasis where there's plenty of food. So your metabolism only operates in terms of survival and death. What does it take to survive? And then eventually uh, there's death. So when it's trying to survive, it does its best work to keep you alive. And that means that when you're on a prolonged eating or diet plan and you are reducing your body fat on a regular basis, your body will catch on to what you're doing and it doesn't want to give up too much of the reserves in anticipation of saving your life. So how do we counter that or how do we keep it going for as long as possible? And the way we do that is taking a cheat meal or taking one meal off uh, where you can go right ahead and eat whatever you want for that hour and you can get sloppy with it. Now look, is that the best way of doing it? Not necessarily. Uh, a refeed meal, on the other hand, a refeed meal is one where you've exhausted your glycogen levels, you've been sticking to your eating plan all week long, same situation. You've been doing all of your workouts, you've been doing all of your cardio, and you hit the point where you just need more. And your metabolism is probably dying off and it's good if you have a good, uh, a good coach who can help you with your diet plan or your eating plan, 
who can carefully plan every week or two based on the results that you're getting, they can allow for a higher calorie meal, a refeed meal. Usually a refeed meal is higher in calories across the board. At least it's going to be higher in carbohydrates. That's the deal. Is it going to be sloppy? Not so much. Is it going to be higher calorie? Yes. It's generally the same foods that you've been eating, but a nice bump up in calories, maybe double the portion or triple the portion of everything that you're eating. Again, that's up to your your eating coach, your training coach, to let you know exactly what's the best for you to do. And then maybe it takes a little experimentation to find out the exact amounts that you should eat, or maybe it'll be unlimited for an hour, but a, rare, a, a, a fairly clean refeed, as opposed to the cheating that I just described, right? A cheat meal would be something like pizza, cake, ice cream, you know, just pure junk, tacos, all thrown together. Whereas if you've been eating chicken, rice, steak, sweet potato, uh, you know, healthy fats like avocado, uh, ol you know, cod liver oil, olive oil, all of those things, then a refeed meal would be one where you take the portions that you would normally eat and you increase those portions to a great amount to satisfy not just your metabolism, but also psychologically, it's very good for you. If Again, you have to be honest with yourself. If you're the type of individual that can do that and be satisfied with not having the pizza or the cheeseburgers or the hot dogs, whatever it is, then by all means, the refeed meal serves that purpose just the same as a cheat meal and probably better because when you have a refeed meal with clean food or the same foods that you've been dieting on, your body is used to digesting those foods. Will it back up your digestive system? Most likely not. Will you experience a heaviness afterwards? Most likely not. Will you experience things like diarrhea, constipation, all of that afterwards like you would if you were to go off on a cheat type of meal? Most likely not when you do a true clean refeed. So again, being honest with yourself and with your coach, Work on it together. Decide which way is the best way for you to go. As, as a training and diet coach, I've helped people do it both ways. I have no preference either way, to be honest with you. But in being honest with them and them being honest with me, we usually work out a good plan where they could have a meal off, but not getting too, too sloppy usually. Now, again, I could do it either way. And we still, in both cases, get the results. So it's a matter of controlling it the way that we need to the rest of the week. So that's it. Something to consider for you if you're handling your own eating plan. Something to share with your coach if someone else is doing your training and your diet plan. But always communicate with them and get across to them your individual feelings, your individual needs and desires as you go without constantly getting emotional about it because you have to realize your body is a survival machine. It operates on fact, just simple fact. If you're having an actual cheat meal, it's more for your head than it is for your body. And that's it for today. From my heart to you, John Hart, thank you for stopping by. Hey, before you go, if you don't mind, on your bottom right, you're going to see a red button down there, that subscribe button. It's free to do. And when you hit it, go ahead and hit that button right there. I'll wait for you. Hit that subscribe button. When you hit that subscribe button, You'll get notifications for when I have new videos coming up. So go ahead and hit that. And if you don't mind, on your bottom left, the thumbs up. That always helps the channel as well. I appreciate it. And as always, hit me with your comments down below. Happy to read them. Thank you. Hey, do you want John to be your personal trainer? Get your training and diet managed online by Mr. America himself. Go to MrAmericaHeart.com. It's in the link right here below in the video's description.